Of all the Cherokee wizards or witches, the most dreaded is the Raven Mocker, the one that robs a dying man of life. They are of either sex, and there's no sure way to know one, though they usually look withered and old, because they have added so many lives to their own. At night, when someone is sick or dying in the settlement, the Raven Mocker goes to the place to take the life. He flies through the air in fiery shape, with arms outstretched like wings, and sparks trailing behind and a rushing sound like the noise of a strong wind. Every little while as he flies, he makes a cry, like the cry of a raven when it dives in the air, not like the common raven cry, and those who hear are afraid, because they know that some man's life will soon go out. When the raven marker comes to the house, he finds others of his kind waiting there, and unless there is a doctor on guard who knows how to drive them away, they go inside. All invisible, and frighten and torment the sick man until they kill him. Sometimes, to do this, they even lift him from the bed and throw him on the floor, but his friends who are with him think he is only struggling for breath. After the witches kill him, they take out his heart and eat it, and so add to their own lives as many days or years as they have taken from his. No one in their room can see them, and there is no seer where they take out the heart but yet there is no heart left in the body. Only one who has the right medicine can recognize a raven mocker, and if such a man stays in the room with a sick person, these witches are afraid to come in and retreat as soon as they see him, because when one of them is recognized in his right shape, he must die within seven days. There was once a man named Galansky who had this medicine and used it to hunt for raven mockers and killed several. When the friends of a dying person know that there is no more hope, they always try to have one of these medicine men stay in the house and watch the body until it is buried, because after burial, the witches do not steal the heart. The other witches are jealous of the raven mockers and afraid to come into the same house with one. Once a man who had the witch medicine was watching by a sick man and saw these other witches outside trying to get in. All at once they heard a raven mocker cry overhead and the others scattered like a flock of pigeons when the hawk swoops. When at last a raven marker dies, these other witches sometimes take revenge by digging up the body and abusing it. The following is told on the reservation as an actual happening. A young man had been out on a hunting trip and was on his way home when night came on while he was still a long distance from the settlement. He knew of a house not far up the trail where an old man and his wife lived, so he turned in the direction to look for a place to sleep until morning. When he got to the house, there was nobody in it. He looked into the house and found no one there either. He thought maybe they had gone after water, and so stretched himself out in the farther corner to sleep. Very soon, he heard a raven cry outside, and in a little while afterwards, the old man came into the house and sat down by the fire without noticing the young man.